it was interesting because before all this, you know, I was in the classroom taking, you know, taking care of whatever you, all teachers take care of in the classroom with the parents and all that. And then this whole space is, is new for me. So I'm learning as we go. So it's, it's hard, but it's a different hard. Now it's, I love what I do so much that I will learn what to do in the background to make it happen with the fact that I'm aligned with the fact now that I'm more confident with the fact now that I have more faith and then everything's going to come together. It was so cliche for me before all this. I'm like, oh yeah, you know, once, once you figure out what you want, everything's going to come together. And yeah. until you live it, you don't understand it. Understand it. You really right? don't. You, you really, really don't. don't. And, and, and that, that brings me to, I'm reading conversations with God. Oh, I don't know if you've ever read that. Not yet. Listen, so someone just put me on to it because they, they read my yellow weed and was like, oh my goodness, that, did you read Conversations with God? You guys are very similar. I'm like, no, I didn't. So I had to read it because I was. they were like, wow, it's on the same level. So I was like, right. this is a big book over here, Conversations with God. Right. So many nuggets, so many nuggets. But one of the big things that they talked about it, that I love and it resonated so much was Forget asking yourself, what is my purpose? What is my purpose? How to find my purpose? You have to create your purpose. It's meant to be created. And that's what you just said that you did. You you went into your mind, you, re, you, you tackled your thoughts. And the other powerful quote I got from the book was, once you release a thought into the universe, you can't get it back. That scared me a lot. <laughs> Listen, you just scared me because I'm like, did I create my destiny before this? Yes. 